Es ist Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I'm with my boy Tracky who has now officially been admitted into and I say admitted into as if it's some sort of mental institution but you know sevenfold 7F you guys know him we all hate him even though most of them well most of the guys I've run into from 7F are pretty decent individuals they're they're amazing players obviously I mean you know you don't get into those ridiculous clans for being, you know, mediocre like myself. But there are a few standouts in uh, in 7F that are kind of, you know, just all around not fun people to hang out with. That being said, most of them are pretty decent individuals. Now, what am I and Tracky getting ourselves into tonight? Well, Tracky told me he was very, very close as in in the 90s to three marking the m48 patent and you guys know that the m48 pet just happens to be a little friend of mine now here trackies immediately got into a forward position this guy's running so i put a round into the side of him for good measures and we're just gonna we're gonna be in king cobra and we're gonna have some fun Un unfortunately for tracky this match is not gonna go his way i don't think he does bad but I do think he drops in damage standing after this match. Because the first couple matches me and him got into tonight was absolutely brutal, guys. Like, it just did not go well for either of us. This one went pretty well for me. But not so much for him. And uh, at one point, he was at, uh, I think, 93% and dropped all the way back down to 90. Like, it, that's a rough way to go. Now here, I don't quite get the gun depression to go down into the bottom plate, but, you know, it is what it is. I was hoping it would still pin him, because it is a 120 mil gun, and it's it's a pretty good gun on the T-57 and the E-5 and all those things. You know, I know the T-57 gets the autoloader, but it's still a 120 mil gun, and it's very, very good. It's got punch power, it's got decent reload, it's got decent accuracy. There's really no downfall to the uh, T-57's gun. Now, I, for some reason, I don't know if it's gotten nerfed recently or what, but it does feel slightly longer to aim. But this, <laughs> this poor Centurion is about to find out what a fully loaded T-57 Heavy can do. Now, I just had to break the wall, but look at him just tunnel visioning. He is not seeing me at all. <laughs> and that's his, that's his demise. Down he goes. I don't know what he was looking at, but he was obviously not paying attention to me. So that's what happens when Arties get spotted in the base and guys think they can snipe them and don't see the heavy tank autoloader tier 10 three feet in front of their tank. <laughs> and they say Arties are the only ones that don't pay attention. <laughs> but we've all done it. We've all been that. Oh, hello E75, shout out. And of course we track him. One shell, two shell, and dead. Drop the mag. Enemies looking right at us. Tracky's still alive, so he's still holding it down. But, yeah, so what did you guys think of this weekend? A little spin tires on Saturday? Spin tires Saturday? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Wasn't highly watched, but, you know, still 60, 70 views this weekend on a, a video. Not bad. Not World of Tanks, but, not, oh, hello. Yeah, you done screwed up, Sunshine. <laughs> God, I love... I'm starting to really love the T-57. Like, it doesn't really have anything wrong. Like, as long as you're not a doofus like I usually am. And, oh, hello. 1375. Look how long it's taken to aim, though. One shot. Okay, really, game? That, that's the way you're doing me? Okay. Okay. I had to miss a shot. It's okay. I, I went ahead and dumped the mag. Anytime I get down to just having one round, I like to dump the mag. The T-57's got a pretty decent reload. Focus on this location. I say pretty decent. It's a it's a really good reload, if I'm honest. And then here you're going to see some just really, really bad accuracy. Okay, so... Shot out. And dirts. And shot... Oh, into the friendly teammate. And shot out. That one should have hit him. 
and shot out, and we get a track. Four rounds dispatched, and only one of them touched the enemy tank, and it only tracked him and did no damage. Because AMX1375, hashtag amazing armor. Because, you know, that 10 millimeters of side armor is enough to protect you from a 120 mil armor piercing round coming through the side of your tank when he gets tracked. Oh, hello, E4. Now here I make a mistake. I should have tracked him with the first shot. But he gets away. Just in time. I could have gotten three rounds into him, but I didn't. I'm reloading. And you can see, track, he's still alive. He's still fighting. I don't know how much damage he's got, but he's in trouble. And he knows he's in trouble. I need to get over there to try to help him. And down he goes. No! You killed my... Oh. Here's the whizzy. Now this is a baffling exchange here. Because I look like I'm shooting at the side of his tank and every single one of those rounds bounced off. And then I didn't see the T-95 and I got kerblastered, which didn't feel very good. Artie's taking shots at me. We've got guys driving around the base. Come on, Spartan, don't miss any more shots. Is he going to pull out? Nope, never mind, they got him. Who's on the left? T-95 and the Wizzy Heavy Tank. We don't want to fight them at the moment. Maybe if I just sit here, somebody will goof up who wasn't paying attention. Oh, there's the Wizzy again. Come on, Spartan, get some shots. Why is that shot just going exact? There we go. Can we get the kill? Oh, it just goes just high enough. And then we get a track hit instead of killing him on the side of... God bless... Okay, remember what I said about this being just a really good gun and not not bad at all? Look at this waffle. This baby waffle is an absolute tool. Because I've been spotted that entire time. I, I dumped four rounds and I'm still sitting here getting ready to shoot. And he didn't shoot at me not once. E4 down there is begging to die. So, I push up to get the E4. Can I finish him? Is he in a good spot for me to just come around the corner, shoot him one time, and kill him? Well, where'd he go? He was just there. Like, I saw him on the map. He was right here, and he somehow got away from me in the time it took me to drop off the map. Now here, I'm spotted. I know they still got an arty, so I've got to get out of here. And there's a shot from Wizzy. Luckily, we bounce. I wish I had high explosive, but, you know, you don't exactly hold a whole lot of high explosive when you're in a uh, auto loader because you would you can't just load one round and be done. So that's a thing. Unless of course you forget and you end up only having one round done then. Okay. E4, where's the waffle? Anybody seen a waffle around here? I can't believe that E4 got all the way up there without me noticing. Oh, here we go. He's coming out. Can I snipe? Nope. He's he's dipped back again. And come on, Spartan. Somebody fought. Oh, there's the waffle. Spartan, don't screw this up. And down. Oh, no. Do not miss this last shot. He has to die. And got him. <laughs> Two hit points. Thanks a lot for the mercy roll, world of tanks. Thanks a lot. But that's our third kill. We've got 14 pins, and we just backed up in front of the Wizzy and the T95. Oh, yeah, by the way, T95 got an engine buff, so now you got to be careful because they do move. <coughs> Completely forgot about that. But we go down. There's 3v3. Our team should win this. We have practically a full health Leopard, practically a full health M103, and then we have... A Death Star. They're against a T-95. Oh, here we go. Down goes the E-4. That leaves a Wizzy that is a one-shot kill and a T-95 that could be killed very quickly shortly thereafter due to the fact we have a Death Star, an M-103, and a Leopard. Now, I'm going to call this Leopard out. You'll see why in a minute. I'm not going to mention his name, even though it kind of is up there. That's not what this is about, but I will say this. If you're watching, and you're in this position, 
where you have a tank that has 1100 hit points and you have two tanks against you one of which is a guaranteed kill all you have to do is take one hit and shoot him in the back okay that whizzy can hit you for I think up to 500 it is a Chinese uh, heavy tank so it can hit you pretty hard but it's only gonna hit you for like 500 max okay T95 can absolutely wreck you but look where the T95 is right now the T95 went all the way to the other side of the hill which means this whizzy heavy tank is just begging to be jumped up on and killed and this leopard is just like I don't wanna I don't wanna do anything I'm just gonna sit here maybe if I get lucky the team will kill everybody and that's not what you should be doing you're in a very very capable big bodied medium with a great gun you can easily run up take the hit from the whizzy and kill him now look how much time we're wasting every second that you waste here gives that t95 and the whizzy a chance to get back together and that doesn't end well for anybody because that's a heck of a one-two punch that is a guaranteed kill that could be just absolutely fumbled away now I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie he finally does decide to push I don't know why he took so long but he finally decides to push and watch what happens straight over back of the whizzy and he kills him no problem that just leaves the t95 and let's be honest even if the t95 high rolls and gets 900 plus on him this guy could literally drive right past the t95 get on his backside and keep shooting him. now there's a death star coming up which generally means bad things for t95s because you have all the armor in the world but it's all flat so death star hesh round guaranteed pin usually as long as you place your shot and don't hit the gun but where did this that where did this t95 go people are not used to and i'm one of them t95s being able to move like this this t95 got off the hill and look where he's at wait for it and ding where could he be there he is in the water and the the leopard is just like I don't want to take a shot at him T95 is not even looking at him now the T95 is starting to look at him and he auto locks the front of a T95 Death Star decides to use an AP round instead of a Hesh round and finally the leopard comes through and puts a round into the top of the fuel tank and finishes them all for 50 damage but we end up having a pretty good game here what do we got come on we lose a little bit of money because we had to use a repair kit and all that 5300 damage three kills not bad so if you like what I'm doing punch the like button leave a comment below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always I will see you in the next video